everywhere around Cambodia full of landmines, signboards, danger mines, danger mines everywhere. Do you know how many landmines around Cambodia? Altogether, they lay more than seven million of landmines. Wow. From inside the jungle, by Khmer Rouge soya to protect from Cambodian government soya to fight with them, and from government side, they lay the landmine to protect from Khmer Rouge soya come to disturb to the people. So both they lay the landmine together, and who step on the landmine are common people. Yeah. So around Cambodia, we had 14 million people, at least 15 percent of those people are disabled. The temple itself it was built decorated by 49 towers and included the five towers surrounded the great city. We had 54 towers. Our country very large. To the north, we were connected to Nan Chao province of China during the Chinese King Songs period. To the east, we were connected to Champa country. Now they became to the middle of Vietnam. To the south, we were connected to the uh, uh, Gulf of Malaysia, we call Malayu. 
and to the way we were connected to Burma border, the Min and Man area. So the whole complete of this area, it belonged to Cambodia. Education in Cambodia was started from primary school until university. Besides university, the king also sent a lot of scholars to abroad by the wooden boat, cruise along the South China Sea to Europe, to Western country, to India, to Nepal and the other countries. So all those people, after they got educated, when they came back, they sharing their knowledge to local people. So that's why our culture, we can say one of the communication between many cultures from everywhere around the world to one place. This afternoon, when you go to visit Angkor Wat, look like you go to the center of the universe. Because Angkor Wat, it will combine between four main cultures. Cambodian, Chinese, Indian, and European culture meet together in one place. by the king, his name So Ria Varaman II. In the year of 1113 to 1150, for dedicated to Vishnu gods. This temple it was built decorated by five towers for represented to the Meru mountain Hinduism. The Meru mountain Hinduism, it was represented to the heaven. So the heaven in Hinduism, it was surrounded by seven oceans and seven long chains of the mountains. Beside the five towers of Angkor Wat, they build a wall in closer. Could you look? Uh, 1,025 meters from east to west to 800 meters from north to south. It formed in a rectangle for represented to long chain of the mountain. Beside that, they dug the moat surrounded uh, 1,500 meters from east to west to 1,300 meters from north to south. It also formed in a rectangle for represented to the ocean.
8th of April 1975, and his name is Mr. Chung. His name is Mr. Chung, T-R-U-N-G. Uh, he was a pilot, was trained by South Vietnamese Republic. By the end, he uh, switched in the last minute. So after he landed here, he, you know, after he dropped two bombs right here, and he landed in the liberated area, center of Vietnam. It's not far from here. Or an American jet fighter. All right. Where is and the it, plane? It's over, it's over there. there. You, you can see, see everywhere in Vietnam, always uh, across like that. I mean, no more. No more, no more South Republic Vietnam. No more two countries in Viet one Vietnam. Republic of Vietnam. And the, the people who run the country in the South here, that was the, the South Vietnamese people, was, uh, was called the uh, Republic of Regime South Vietnam. Okay, they didn't call it Regime before like that, but uh, it used to be. Uh, uh, our country called is uh, the regime in the south. And Ho Chi Minh was up north. Ho Chi Minh was up north. It was democratic Republic of Vietnam, up north Vietnam. Um, and officially the US was here. Officially a lot of fighting here was just after 19, it's about 1965, after that. When the US set up the South Vietnamese Republic here in the south of Vietnam, the president, the first president living here, that was the uh, President Yim, uh, Golden Yim, he lived in the palace here. The original palace was named Noridam. Noridam, that was the, the name of the, uh, the king in Cambodia. In 1962, the beautiful colonial palace will be by the French, it was bombed one time. Uh, the reason who bombed the palace at the beginning, that was, um, you know, the people in the same side, the same, you know, uh, side of President Yim, dropped the bomb on the rooftop of the palace here. Um, which uh, people, actually a lot of uh, the general, his people follow him, didn't want to, to be in the same idea what he's doing. So uh, the pilots were bombed pretty badly in 1962. The guy bombed uh, the pilots here, the pilots named Phạm Phu Quoc, is the guy who bombed it, in the same side of him. Um, but the, the plane was shot down Phu Quoc Island. So President Yim was actually lucky after the first bombing. So he knocked down the rest of the pilots, and he started building, this is a new one, okay? The guy who built this palace, the architect, his name is Ngo Vic Tu. Uh, tu, we call him Mitu Architect Tu, T-H-U. Tu was a very famous Vietnamese architect who won this uh, special, you know, architecture prize in, uh, in Roma, in Rome. So he combined his palace. His architecture is very oriental and western. Totally, totally, they have 95 rooms in here. And where you're sitting here was actually the bunkers underneath. It can last about a week. And on top there, you see the paper tag, the little paper tag there. Uh, everybody can go to the table on the left hand side and then you can just uh, 
find our people, name the people you want to pray for.